the time has come i think this is going to be the last video of 2017 and i'm going to do my favorites of the year so some of them are new this year and some of them are just the products that i have been using the whole time um all the time every year that i just love still so hair first um i've just carried on using the grumpy cow um shampoo from cow shed and no shampoo that i've used trying to find something a, a bit more reasonably priced um has come close so i just kept going back to that um and i can really see a difference in my hair for when i use it when i don't use it um one thing that i think has was sort of new this year i mean obviously this was the mane and tail stuff from when i had a horse when i was a kid um but this is my favourite conditioner partly because you can get it for like four quid um, in Superdrug and Boots, but actually it just really conditions nicely. To keep my hair in nice condition, um, I use I change up what I would put in my hair um, before I dry it, depending on what my hair's like. But this I got my hair cut for the first time in years um, recently, and they couldn't believe how good condition it was in considering I don't get much done to it um, and I'm sure it's because of this which is um, the argan oil from Amelia Moss who specialises in oils um, and this argan oil is just beautiful you need a tiny amount um, through the ends of your hair and it just gives it such smooth shine and it's not too heavy so those are the only two hair things well three because I I love the grumpy cow shampoo um, my first thing on my list for skincare um, is this which is the Caroline Hirons double cleanse with pixie beauty I read um, a lot of reviews of this and I've reviewed it myself um, so you can read about it below um, people were not didn't find it that exciting um and you know they they wanted it something a bit more exciting from caroline as she's such a skin guru but for me um that's partly what i loved about it it just does the job there's no fragrance there's no smell um you get two for one it's reasonably priced um it gets your makeup off it gets your face clean it doesn't dry your skin out gets the makeup off gets the SPF off I mean that is what you want from a cleanser and so I think she really hit the nail on the head with this and I think also god all power to you if you've got that much um internet presence and you come out with something that's 24 quid rather than being like haha buy my stuff it's 60 pounds so I really like that Another cleanser that I love that isn't new this year but is new to me this year is the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. Um, I think if I could only have one cleanser in the world it might be this because it is the one that irritates my skin the least. Um, it is sort of illuminating but without feeling astringent on the skin and um, it's just got a lot of nice things in it. So although I, I don't like to do it, it does remove my makeup. And everything but it is lovely in the morning if you put it on and you just leave it for a bit so that the, the good stuff has time to work on your skin so I, I love this really love it so pleased I tried it um, another new product which is really for me knocked it out of the park in terms of making beauty more affordable and more accessible are these naturally radiant um, glycolic acid daily cleansing pads from Superdrug um, they're $5.99 or something, but they're always half price, making them $2.90 something. And um, they're just they're just fantastic. They're a great way to start if you want to start trying AHAs on your face. So these are just great. A high street brand that have done a cult product at a reasonable price in great packaging in a great format uh, that's vegetarian, vegan, cruelty free. Um, for me, this is one of the fantastic products of the year. 
my two moisturizers that I have just gone back to again and again and again um, are of course my favorite origins make a difference cream for me um, with dry sensitive dehydrated skin nothing really comes co close to this um, and I've tried quite a lot this year I'm right now testing two of the dr. Dennis Gross um, is that what his name is end of the year brain freeze um, I'm trying two of his moisturizers both of which I love which is the sea deep cream and the retinol and fer fer ferulic acid um, but I've only tried them for about four days so that's too soon for them to go on the favorites but I do really like them but this I just use again and again I recommend it again and again um, it's deeply moisturizing but it is easily absorbed it smells incredible um, I love it and I have been using their eye cream uh, the ginseng eye cream it, which I still love even though I think they've slightly changed the formula because it's a bit more liquid than it used to be um, but it's still fantastic if you're someone with dark circles who doesn't want to conceal all the time but just wants something to give you a tiny bit of brightness it's not gonna correct your dark circles um, forever that's just not going to happen but it does just improve the appearance of them so if you're going makeup free you don't have to have quite such dramatic dark circles another new product from this year is the ordinary's lactic acid this is the 10% um, with 2% hyaluronic um, a lot of people I think this is like a, a love hate product um, some people have had a bad reaction to this which is fine um, but I this got me through pregnancy when I had terrible breakouts terrible um, pregnancy breakouts huge new pregnant and then I had this horrible patch and actually this fixed it but even though I'm used to using acids and everything I do mix this with a moisturizer um, at night and that's the way my skin light if I use it on its own I get these horrible kind of big spots and it, it my skin really doesn't like it but if I mix it with something it's absolutely fantastic um, and it did really sort my skin out and finally just in Skin Owl Beauty Drops PM um, which is a skin perfecting moisturizer it's got Mackie Berry in it um, I've reviewed this really recently um, developed by this incredible woman and her amazing company in LA uh, to cure her acne so this is lovely um, I'm always unmoved by oils but I love this one and it's expensive but it's, it's kind of worth it on to makeup I've got a bag full so in no particular order and I, why don't I start with one that will get me some trolls. The NARS Sun, what does it call itself? Sunwash Diffused Bronzer. Um, the reason I love this is I love a diffused light product, as we will be finding out in a minute. Um, and for someone who's really pale, this is perfect. And it has really got me through um, when I have been too tired to put makeup on properly um, and I've just wanted to look a bit healthier um, because it's so subtle and so nicely formulated um, I can just put it on without having anything underneath and not look like I've had a disastrous tanning experience um, it's just such a shame that they bought this out and literally a week later um, declared that they were going to sell in China it really sucks I feel like this is this is one of my I mean favorite things of 2017 I think this was new this year as the NARS was um, this is the bourgeois smoky stories this is over rose I also have the naturals one but for me this this color is just beautiful I wear it all the time I use it on my clients it's just a really lovely quad um, not new but you know my obsession um, is the hourglass uh, diffuse light powder uh, I love it it's the only powder I want to use these which I believe were new this year um, are the Rosie Huntington Whiteley 
um, for autograph uh, cream eyeshadow sticks. Um, they're all sparkly, which is not necessarily my favourite, but they blend beautifully, they last really well, the colours are beautiful and wearable, and the sparkle is about as toned down as you can get with the sparkle. Um, and I just think they're reasonably priced, I think they're about £12 each, the packaging's great, um, they're twist up, you get a good lot of product. Um, I can't really fault them, frankly. Having said how much I d d wasn't that keen on the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette, I am really keen on their All Nighter Setting Spray, um, which I really shouldn't be because I just think they're slightly mythological beings, but um, it kind of does make your makeup stay on, um, and it's great for refreshing your makeup if you've been wearing it all day and you just feel like it needs a bit of a lift spritz this on if you need to reapply your makeup um, but you've got powders on spritz this on um, it, it's it's a genuinely good product haven't had a chance to review this yet um, and it's one of my left field products and I'm not sure if it's new this year um, but I think it is um, maybe Gina who sent it to me could leave a comment below and let me know um, this is the unique Moodstruck Precision Pencil lip liner in popular and the reason I love this is it's incredibly versatile it is a lovely um, consistency and it is just my favorite color it is it's like the perfect red it's an orange red which is much more flattering to a lot more people I think um, in my opinion uh, I've got it on as a lip liner with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, bitch perfect lipstick um, it blends beautifully it's just um, it's just really lovely origins um, ginseng energy boosting tinted moisturizer um, is is the one I'm wearing it now uh, they've really nailed it um, it's just beautiful it's so nice to have a tinted moisturizer with a good SPF um, it looks really stunning I'm hoping that they are going to come out with a bigger color range because this will do uh, my skin tone to an olive any paler any darker you're in trouble um, but it is just a lovely 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 product this is not new uh, this is lip gel um, from gel brand uh, I'll put a link to where you can buy this in the UK below this is the most deeply moisturizing um, fantastic lip balm and it's kind of, I don't really want to use any other lip balm now I've used this. Also not new this year, but um, something I've been using a lot are the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencils. Um, they're just great, especially now I've learned how to sharpen them, which is annoying because in my uh, quick review, I'm like, how can you not sharpen them? But I was using the wrong sharpener. Um, now I've learned how to sharpen them, they're even better. Um, they're just really blendable, really wearable, loads of colors. Eco Tools brushes. I was snobby, I, I admit I was wrong. Um, the Eco Tools brushes are really lovely. Some of them I could live without. Some of them, like this one, which I use for setting my powder, even though it's a concealer brush. This I use for putting highlighter on the inside corner of my eye um, and other such things, even though it's, I don't know what it's for. Pointed concealer. Um, I just think they are fantastic, they're cruelty free, um, they are you know, vegan, vegetarian, well made, affordable, um, I wish I had got into them sooner. Another eyeshadow palette, I'm wearing it now, that has just been my staple of this year is the Louise Young um, Eyeshadow Trio in Studio 54. Um, and no video can ever do this justice. This is a, such a beautiful, light, very, very pale gold colour and I just love it. If I, if, if in doubt, if I don't know what to wear, if I was going to a job interview, if I was going to um, be on telly, if I was going to do anything, I would probably reach for this palette just because they are flattering, they're wearable, it's quick, it's easy to use, it takes the decision making out of your makeup really um, and you can, I just... I love Louise's products, all of her products are fantastic, but this has been my absolute go-to um, palette for this year. A new brand that I got into this year um, is Ilia 
um, which are a fantastic green beauty brand. Everything is very ethical about them. And this is the Multi Stick in Tenderly, which I love. Um, genuinely good Multi Stick. This is um, one of their highlighters in Sway, um, which looks scary but is actually incredibly wearable. Um, and they also do fantastic lipsticks and their tinted lip conditioner in Nobody's Baby um, basically was the main thing on my lips all summer. New this year, the Pixie Correction Concentrate um, has revolutionised my dark circles. I was using it the other day and I was thinking what makes it so great and what makes it so great is it's, it's a, a perfect colour. Um, they've got another one for darker skin tones um, who will need a slightly different colour to this one. This is Brightening Peach and the other one is an Apricot. Um, it's reasonably priced but it just, I was using it this morning and it blends on so beautifully on top of your foundation or your tinted moisturiser or, or your just moisturised face. You need to have something slightly underneath it to give it a bit more movement but I've just always found the Brobby Brown correctors, the colours were spot on but for my skin they just didn't have enough movement in and this is spot on. New to me, but again I don't think new this year, um, is the Maybelline Great Lash Big Mascara. Um, for me it's just gives you nice thick roots to the lashes, feathery tips um, and is reasonably priced. Um, one of my favourite things, and actually the thing I think um, sent me into labour uh, properly with my last baby, um, is the um, customised blushes from Daniel Sandler. Um, they're just beautiful. I've got Lux and Moon Glow on at the moment. Um, they're just, as they say, customisable, blendable, beautiful. If you're a makeup artist, um, they're really worth having in your kit because you've kind of got every eventuality covered. I just love the fact that it blends into your foundation and it all looks really natural. You've got nothing sitting on top of your skin. It's just such a beautiful product. But my ultimate favourite um, is still Rose Glow. It is the be all and end all colour for me. If he ever discontinues it, I'm just going to buy it out of, of every single stockist. And the last things I've got are Lord and Berry Kajal, which um, again I'm wearing now. Um, a lot of people aren't going to get on with this because it um, it does move. It's a bit smudgy. Uh, it's kind of huge to use, um, but it. I don't know, I like smudgy, I like grungy, I like something that is quick to apply and you've kind of got black liner everywhere when you've just meant to get it on the top lid. That works for me and it's £12 or something, it's very reasonably priced. Um, so I'm really happy I, I tried that. And then two of my favourite lip colours, which are not new this year but I have basically worn all the time. I've got one of them on now, which is Charlotte Tilbury. Um, bitch Perfect. You can keep Pillow Talk, that is too brown for me, but Bitch Perfect is perfect. And the other one is MAC Dangerous um, Retro Matte. I always get asked what lip colour this is. Like I said with Popular, which I often wear this with, um, it is an orangey red which is a lot more flattering to a lot more skin tones, I think. And that is it for my favourites. Thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed this year, joined in the giveaways, sent me lovely comments, um, followed me, read the blog. Um, I really appreciate it. Um, you make a mum who has three tiny children and spends a lot of time at home uh, shoveling food into people and changing nappies um, it's just so nice to have a little nice positive space on the internet. So thanks for being part of it. And I hope you are all having a lovely Christmas, a lovely festive holiday if you don't celebrate Christmas, and a new lovely new year. Have a wonderful rest of your year, and I will see you in 2018.